Lord. Any way you want to use me, use me, Lord. I'm not going to hold back, Lord. I'm running for you for the rest of my life. But you, God, because I want to be with you forever and ever, for eternity, I want to be with my God. Amen? Amen. With my Heavenly Father. Can I get a witness in here? That's your goal. If you ain't got that goal in life, you need to come to the altar before you leave tonight. Amen? But your goal should be to please God. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Hallelujah. God is so good. It's a patient. I'm going to hit the word. Title of my message tonight is Patient and Faith is the Key to God's Blessing in Your Life. Amen. I said patient and faith is the keys to God's blessing in your life. Do you have patience? Do you have faith? If you have that, well, you can speak to that mountain and it'll move out of your way. But you gotta have patience and you gotta have faith if you want the blessings of God to come down in your life. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. I don't know about you, but I had a lot of food this year, right the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I had a lot of faith and a lot of patience. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. But God did some work in me. I got a chance to spend time with him. I got a chance to pray on my knees and say, God, any way you use me, I'll be satisfied. God, just don't take your presence from me, God. Yeah. Take anything I have, but don't take your presence from me, God. Amen. Don't take your spirit from me, God. Because yeah. I need you more now than I ever need you before. Yeah. I come to tell you, uh, when you go through a test, uh, it'll either make you strong or you will make you weak. But this, this test made me strong in the Lord. Lord. And the power of His might. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. Amen. You can't tell no testimony. Unless you've been through something. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. I don't know about you, but I got a powerful testimony. How my God healed. How my God delivered. How my God set free. Hallelujah. And he's still delivering. He's still setting free today. God is not dead. He's still alive. He lives on the inside of us. If we have the Holy Ghost. He lives on the inside of you if you keep your faith in him. He'll walk with you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll be with you always. Even to the end of time. I said, our oh God is a mighty God. And he's worthy to be great. I said, he's worthy to be great. He's worthy of his honor. He's worthy of his glory. He's worthy of his righteousness. Hallelujah. Our God is a healer. He's Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that hid it there. I'm telling you, our God is an awesome God. And he's worthy to be praised. Oh, I got it all joy. Everything I've been through the last three weeks, I count it all joy. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. And if you take my joy, you take my strength. And I told the devil, I'm going to praise him in the midst of the storm. I'm going to praise him when I'm out of the storm. I'm going to praise him all the days of my life. I'm telling you, we're going to here. I don't know about you, but I'm praising my Lord. On the inside right now, while I'm talking to you right now, I'm praising God. I'm saying, Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're king of kings. You're Lord, 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 Almighty. I learned how to praise God in the midst of the storm. I'm broken. And when you've been broken, you can't come out but on top. Can I get a witness in here? God has broken me right there. I had all of this, all of them blessings, everything. God showed me everything. So I bless you spiritually, physically, financially. And God said, will you still serve me if you lose that stuff? I told God, yes, I will. I'll serve God. I don't have nothing. That's what I told God. And when you get to that point, God can use you there. He can use you for his glory. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. Lord, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, this went to the word. I'm close up. I just testimony. But inside of me, I had to let it out. So y'all don't oh, excuse right. me. If I don't shout too loud. If I don't praise him too loud. Y'all gotta excuse me. Because I have five shut in my moment. Yeah. Hallelujah, God is a mighty God. Can I get a witness in here? Patience and faith is the key to God's blessing in your life. And my subtitle, patient and staying firm in faith will set you free. When you learn how to be patient and stand firm in God, He can set you free. He can use you for His glory. Can I get a witness in here? He can use you for His glory. Hallelujah. He can use you. Patient. People have a problem with patience. Some people want it now, like the microwave. They want it done now. They can't wait. They got to have it now. And God's telling you to hold on and just be patient just a little longer. Amen. And I'll heal you. Glory. God said, just hold on. Glory. Just a little longer, I can deliver you. God told me to tell you tonight, just hold on. Just a little longer, and I can set you free. Yeah. God told me to say, who the Son set free is free indeed. Yeah. And you are free. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you. The son set me free. Amen. And I'm free and I'm running. I'm running for Jesus. Amen. He said he lost his mind. He prayed to God in the parking lot. <laughs> he prayed to God in Walmart. <laughs> he prayed to God everywhere he goes. He prayed to God. But they don't know what I got done. But what he done for me. Hallelujah. They don't know what I've been through. Amen. What he done for me. I got a right to praise my God. Amen. They just got to lock me up. I'm going to praise my God. I'm going to praise him in the prison if I go to the prison. Praise him. I'm going to praise him if I'm on the street. I'm going to praise him. Wherever I go, I'm going to praise my God. Amen. And I'm not ashamed of my God either. Because he's an awesome God. And he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Excuse me. But I'm going to tear up a little bit because I've been through so much. You don't know what I've been through. Because it's making me and molding me in his image and likeness. Let me tell you something. God will take out and he will put in. Yes. He'll take out and put in. And I said, Lord, anything is not like you take it out there. And put in everything like you. And when you ask God to do that, he'll work on you. Won't he? Yes. And he will point out, boom, I want to deal with that. I want to deal with that. Hallelujah. I said, God, work on me, Lord. Because I know I'm yours. Amen. Let's go look all that word and read word. It says here in James 5, chapter 5, 7 and 11. Amen. Patient. Be patient. Then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord come. God wants us to be patient until the Lord come. Some people are not patient. They want everything like a microwave. I want it now. I can't wait. I want it now. I want everything now. But God said, if you just be patient, I'm going to supply your needs. If you just be patient and trust me, I'll meet every need in your life. If you just be patient. Some people don't have no patience. They want it right now. They get mad with you. You don't move when they say move. And you don't jump when they say jump. But you got to jump and say, look, I'm waiting on the Lord. And when the Lord tells me to move, I'll move. When the Lord tells me to talk, I'll talk. You know, they might get mad with you. But you say, the Lord told me to do this. And I got to do what does that, Lord. Amen? So I'm a type of person. I do what God tells me to do. Amen. And I do what my leaders tell me to do too. Amen. As long as I'm God, I'll do it. Amen. Yeah. So I learned how to be patient in, in, in the body of Christ. I've been saved 30 some years now. 33 years I've been saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. He's been working on me every day. <laughs> Can I get a witness that he's always working on me? I said, Lord, Lord, please, Lord, uh, work on me, Lord. Mold and make me like Jesus. I'm going to be just like him. Don't you want to be like Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know about you, I want to be just like you. Hallelujah. It says, see how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop. Patient waiting for the autumn and spring rains. You too be patient. This is what it says. Here. You too be patient. And stand firm. What is he saying? Be patient. Stand firm. I want you to get that in your spirit tonight. I want you to get the spirit of patient in your mind. I want you to get the spirit of standing firm. You want that spirit, that strong spirit. You know what I'm talking about in the war. You need to ask God, so Lord, just, just help me, Lord. Be patient. God, help me love that one that's unlovable. God, help me love the one that's been talking behind the back and criticizing. God, help me love that person that did me wrong. You have to ask God to, Lord, I, 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 I pray that you save them, God, but give me patience, God, how to deal with them. Give me wisdom. So you got to ask God wisdom to people. But if you don't, you're going to get in a whole lot of trouble. Can I get what you say? Amen. A whole lot of trouble if you don't ask God for wisdom. Because you know what? You can step one step and you can be gone. Amen? So you got to watch what you say and how we treat people. How you love people. Amen? Treat them good, but don't you sacrifice your salvation for them. Can I get what you say? Don't you give your salvation up for nobody. Amen? You should be patient and stand firm because the Lord, listen, because the Lord, because the Lord coming is near. His coming is near. So God wants us to be what? A patient. And he wants to stand on him. Can I get what's in here? He wants us to be patient and wants us to wait on him. Amen. For his coming. Amen. Yeah. To be active for the body, be present with the Lord. But long as you're on this earth, you need to stand firm. Be patient in him. Amen. Amen. And stand firm in him. Can I get what's in here? Amen. And when you stand firm in the Lord. The Lord will keep you standing. Can I get a witness in here? No matter what test you're going through in your body, stand firm in the Lord. And trust Him. Amen. And watch the glory of God work in your life. Watch the miracles come down and work in your life. God will send somebody to catch you and you be healed. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. I'm telling you, God used to serve as He healed to the Spirit. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. I don't know about you. 
I told God, anyway, you use me. You'll get the glory. Can I get a witness in here? Because I get the glory, I'm going to get in trouble. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. You don't mess with God's glory. If you mess with God's glory, you're going to get in trouble. Can I get a witness? Right. You are listening to the Father. Don't grumble against one another. You no know, people grumble a lot. They talk a lot of crazy, crazy stuff. They always never say it's not. Their patience is gone. You've been around people like that. They grumble all the time. They always moaning and complaining. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? They flip on you. You know what I mean? They flip on you. I mean, one minute they love you, next minute they talking crazy. Can I get a witness in here? You ever been around someone like that? So you got to be patient with them. You got to pray for them. Amen? You got to know the pillar at night. Can I get a witness in here? You got to know the doorpost in your house. Can I get a witness in here? You got to know everything they sit on. Can I get a witness in here? I'm telling you, you got to learn how to know things in the name of Jesus. Yes. Which is not you Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. I know how to deal with people that, that don't like me. I pray, I, I pick them up and I have a seat already anointed on the car. Oh, can I get a witness in here? They go like, whoa, it's getting hot in here. Whoa, what's going on here? Now I'm anointed the seat with some more. Can I get a witness in here? Hallelujah. <laughs> God is working that thing out. Can I get a witness in here? So I'm being patient with them. Instead of throwing them to the curb, I'm, I'm doing some things around me. I'm praying for them. I'll be watching them and praying at the same time. It's a watch as well as prayer. Yeah. Amen. You gotta watch that person and pray for them. Not condemn them, not put them down, but pray that God open their eyes to see the glory. Can I get a witness? Amen. So you gotta be patient. If you want people to be patient with you, you gotta be patient with them. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. You messed up too. Remember your times you messed up. That'll keep you patient. That'll keep you humble. When you remember times you messed up and stop pointing fingers at someone else. And you, and you need to point your finger at yourself. Say, so God, work on me. Get me right, God. God, I want to save that soul, God. Use me to save that soul, God. I can see you on their way to hell, God. But God, use me, Lord. Give me a word to say to them, God. God, help me, Lord. Yeah. So you got to ask God. He said, you have not because you what? Yeah. You ask not. And you ask amiss. You got to ask in faith. Can I get a witness in here? I don't know about you, but I'm, I, I, I beg God a lot. I give my deed not beg God. I say, God, you know, I love you. God, give me that soul, Lord. Lord, I say that so, God. I beg you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm about to give up a begging preacher. Can I get a witness in there? I beg for souls in the kingdom of God. Amen. God opened doors for souls. That's what we need to be begging for. If you want to beg for something, amen. amen. There's some people begging for money from God. But I'm begging for souls. I want to see people saved, delivered, and set free. Like I am. Amen. amen. I want to see people blessed spiritually, physically, and financially, just like me. I want to see people blessed and prosper and be in good health as their soul prosper. Can I get a witness in here? Right. It ain't all about me. It's all about Jesus. Can I get a witness in here? Y'all excuse me, but I did do something. And you know what? I count it all joy. Hallelujah. I count it all joy. Hallelujah. And the saints here go down a little while. Don't grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. If you don't, if you don't want to be judged by God, stop going out judging people. Stop going around talking about people behind their back. If you don't want to be judged, don't you go around judging. Right. Or you're going to reap what you sow. Right. Got to get a witness in here. Amen. So watch who you judge. Right. That one you see on the street that's poor and don't have anything can be your boss next week. Got to get a witness in here. So God can turn that thing around. Got to get a witness in here. So watch going around judging people think you better than they are. Amen. So God can change that around. They be your boss. Got to get a witness in here. I'm yeah. telling you, you better watch how you treat people. Watch how you treat God's children. Right. And we got some poor children in the body of Christ. We got some rich people in the body of Christ. Middle class people in the body of Christ. Because of their faith. It's all about your faith. Amen. Amen. And I don't know about you. I love them all. The poor, Amen. the middle class, and the rich. Can I get rich in? That's in the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. I love you. you know I love the sinner. You got to love them. Amen. Amen. Let's turn out the Bible. It says, the judge is standing at the door. Amen. The judge is standing at the door. Who are we talking about? The judge. Jesus. He's the judge standing at the door. We have no right to judge nobody. That's his job. Can I get a word to Amen. His job to bring life and death. Amen. Amen. He's got the keys to death and life. Amen. When Jesus died and rose on the third day, he took the keys from the devil, didn't he? He took the keys, death and life. He, he's in control now. You ain't leaving here until he says so. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. So you need to keep your faith in the one that got the keys to death and life. Can I get a witness in here? And be patient too. God said, so many people are so impatient. God said, so many people. If I don't give them what they want when they want it, they get upset with me and they'll leave me. Ooh, Jesus. 
They'll walk away from the fire. Right there and do their own thing. They're going to get in trouble to come running back. And God told me, he said, you know what? Tell them I need them to stay steadfast, unmovable in the things of me. That's what God's telling me to tell you tonight. Stay steadfast, unmovable in the things of me. Be patient and, keep, and stay firm in me. Don't be up and down, up and down in me all the time. And God said, I can't, I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't bless you if you're up and down, up and down all the time. One minute you're in Christ, next minute you're out of Christ. Next minute you say you're talking crazy, next minute you're talking with sin. God said, I want you to be stable. I want you to be stable with me. I want you to get the mind of Christ. God told me to tell you that. I want you to get my mind, get the mind of Christ. And when you get the mind of Christ, you're going to stay stable. You're going to stay humble before God. And you're going to seek his face. You're going to cry up on the altar and say, God, any way you bless me, I'll be. Can I get a witness in here? Go ahead. I don't know about you, but I'm not preaching some down I sweat. But you know what? That's holy sweat. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Hallelujah. That's holy sweat. Amen. It's a brothers and sisters as an example of patience in the face of suffering. God said, when you are suffering, I want you to be patient and wait on me to heal you. Just wait on me to heal you. God said, I got the power to heal you. Amen. He said, I'll heal you if you be patient. Amen. And just trust me. Keep your faith in me. That's what God's saying right in his word. Brothers and sisters, as an example of patience in face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. You know about the prophets, don't you? You know when we prophesy, we're going to go down to the prophets. As you know, we count the blessed those who have been preserved. You have heard about Job. Job was a righteous man. Amen. He loved God. He had his family. All were having a good time. They had a little party over there and a little party over there. And the Lord, man, they were doing that. He had cows on the hill. The man was rich. Can I be real with you? Job was rich. In the east, Job was rich. But look what God did. Oh, Satan went up there in heaven and said, you know what? Uh, if you just take that hedge of protection around him, I, I see how much he loves you. Mm -hmm. And the devil would do that sometimes on you. He said, God, if you just take that hedge of protection around him, I, I, I test him and I promise you, let me test that flesh. They curse you. Sometimes God allows some things in your life. Yeah. But God said, don't you kill him. Don't you take his life. Pay yeah. the loss to me. Can I get a reason? Right. Yeah. Like Job. Amen. And Job said, I mean, he touched Job in so many different ways. He went after his children, his loved ones. The devil will go after your loved ones. Did you know yeah. that? Mm -hmm. He'll go after your loved ones. Mm -hmm. He asked God to like that. See, hit that loved ones and see what they serve you then. See what they want with you then. You know what I mean? But, but Job's kept the faith. Job didn't give up. Job waited patiently oh, yeah. on the Lord. Then he waited yeah, patiently yeah. on the Lord. And we got to wait patiently on the Lord. When we go through a test or trial, we got to work. We got to stay patient with the Lord. Amen? Amen. We can't rush the Lord when we're going through a test or trial. We got to stay patient, stay humble, and stay faithful. Can I get a witness in here? Go ahead. Job was a faithful man. Amen. That they should curse God. His wife should curse God and die. Job said, you're a foolish woman. <laughs> you got to be foolish. You think I'm going to give up my God for you. Mm -hmm. See, Job see, Job was a great man of God. He had that spirit of Christ. I mean, he had that spirit in him. And he had a strong faith. And he was patient. And he, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he stood there and stayed strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. He said, Lord, you might need me, but I'm still going to wait on you. I'm going to wait on your presence. I'm going to wait on your blessings. No matter what I go through, Lord, I'm going to wait on you, Lord. I'm going to trust you with my life, God. My life belongs to you. It don't belong to me anymore. When I gave my life to Jesus, it don't belong to me anymore. It belongs to the Lord. We are the body of Christ. And if, and if we're the body of Christ, God will do whatever he wants to do. When you're the body of Christ. God, sometimes he'll go in and dig some stuff out and, and put some things in. Yeah. Sometimes he'll work on us in the midnight hour. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. You wonder why you can't go to see God working on you. Mm -hmm. And to his image and his likeness. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. See, Job, God worked on him. Job never gave up on God. Job trusted God. And on the end, they say he got double for his trouble. Amen. God blessed him back double for everything he lost. God gave him double back. And if you wait patient on the Lord, I promise you God will give you double for your trouble. Can I get a witness in here? Lord. And some people more like, you know, God, if you real, you take this away from me. God said, don't you trust me. Don't you, don't you put me through a test. God said, I get the last say so. I'm in charge. 
There's something I'm working on inside of you. And God says something I'm going to heal inside of you. But I need you to be patient and keep the faith. Can I go? Oh, yeah. Just keep Amen. the faith. Hallelujah. Keep your eyes on him. The author and finish of your faith. When you keep your faith in God, everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Hey. Can I get what you said here? Hey. Just keep your faith in God. Hey. Don't put your faith in man. Put your faith in God. Do what the Bible tells you to do. Amen. If you want to walk by faith, do what the Bible tells you to do. Don't do you got to lose your mind and get the mind of Christ. Can I get what you said here? Yeah. Joe, I didn't believe that he had the mind of Christ. I didn't believe Joe had the mind of Christ. Yeah. That man loved God, didn't he? Amen. That man was after God's heart, oh, won't he? That man served God, and he lost everything. And God gave him double for his trouble. And then Satan had to leave God put that hedge protection back around. Didn't he? Oh, yeah. And God put the hedge protection. And some of you right now, God is working on you just like he worked on you. He's working on you. God is working on you. Just like he worked on you. He allowed the enemy to come in and, 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 and attack your life. But he said, I need you to give me some glory. I need you to give me some praise. Because I want to heal you as you begin to praise me. Yeah. As the praises go up, the blessings come down. Yeah. God, some of you ain't praising me enough. Some yeah. of you ain't blessing me enough. Because I want to heal you, but you got your mind on yourself. Yeah. They're all about you. When you need to keep your mind on Christ. Yeah. Those who minds stay on him will stay in what? Perfect peace. Yeah. I don't know about yeah. you. perfect peace right now. I need my peace. Amen. Yeah, I need my peace. God healed me, healed my wife, he healed my home, healed my cat. God healed everything I got. Amen. I call him big boy. Can I hear what he said? He's my big boy. He's a big one too. <laughs> Hallelujah. But he's a good one. He's a Christian. He likes listening to Christian music. He don't listen to uh that rock, rock and roll music. I turn it on. He don't want to hear it. You know what? I turn it around to a gospel station. He's like this. <laughs> that's that rock. How can you say he's a rock? He's a Christian, yeah, because he loves to be around me and my wife. Because, you know, we love him. And uh, we, we spoil the heck out of him. We spoil him. We get food, water, make sure he's taken care of. You know, everything. But I'm going to tell you something. That kick is, he loved the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? Hallelujah. I know that kick loved the Lord. When I put gospel on, he'd be running around, rolling over, doing all kinds of stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, God is dealing with me. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good at Amen. I'm telling y'all, y'all what I go through at home. Can I get a witness in here? And y'all excuse me, but be patient, brothers and sisters. As in simple patient in the face of suffering. And say, go down just a little farther. Just go a little farther. You have heard about Job's perseverance. And have seen what the Lord finally bought about. The Lord is full of what? Compassion and mercy. God gave Job compassion and mercy. Didn't he? God never leave you. He would never forsake you. He will be with you always. But you got to stick close to him. Yes. That means whatever you're going to get to God. Mm-hmm. Say, God, you see this thing in my heart or in my mind or whatever I'm going through, God, I need you, God, yes. to heal it, God. Mm-hmm. And when you're sincere, God will step in right on time. Not when you want it, but when he says so. Amen? Amen. And that's why I call patience. Being patient, waiting on the Lord. Amen. Can I get a witness to say, I know it my wife is an all. I know it myself is an all. And I can get to find stuff. I began to bind the spirit of infirmity that came against my home. I bind that thing. And as I began to bind it, my wife said, I told my wife, we ain't taking no medicine. Because that medicine is worse than the sickness. I ain't going to sit here. So we decided we're not going to take no medicine. So I know that with all and know myself with all. And God healed just like that. Lord, yeah, no, I mean, God moved just like that. I've never seen God. I've seen him do miracles in my life. I've seen people in the ditch bed, and God used me to lay hands, and I've seen him come back to life. I've seen God do that through my life, through the ministry that I work. I've seen God do that. And I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you what I've seen. I've seen somebody flip over in my yard, upside down, the guy in the ditch, eyes roll back in his head, phone coming out of his mouth, and he couldn't even want breathe. I lay hands on God's hand, I didn't lay hands on I lay hands on I said, in the name of Jesus. I speak right. And that's how you can see I go right back in the day. Came right back to life. And in the ambulance, they can come hugging me and all that stuff. And I'm going like, God, keep going. God, give that. So God just showed me how powerful he is. When you yield to God, there's no limit of what God can do. There's no limit what God can do. His, his, his thoughts is higher than your thoughts. His might is stronger than your might. God is so powerful. You can't even accept just a little of his wisdom and knowledge and understanding. God is so mighty. You heard me? His foolishness is stronger than man. His weakness is stronger. I mean, God oh. is just a mighty God. Can I get what you said here? Oh, we serve a mighty God. He's not dead. You watch some people that think God ain't dead. But my God ain't dead. He still is. And he lives on the inside of me. Can I get what you said here? Oh, and he lives on the inside of me. 
But let your light shine. Don't let nobody put your light out. Let your light shine. And, and glorify your God. And that you glorify God when weights gonna fall off you. That stress you've been going through gonna fall off you. That sickness that you're going through is gonna fall off you. As you begin to praises go up, the blessings come down. Can I get a witness in here? All right. I'm talking to somebody tonight. All right. The Holy Spirit is talking to somebody tonight. Somebody need this message. And if you, I know you're looking uh, 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 on uh, Agape uh, Network. God got a blessing for you. But you got to be patient and wait on the Lord to renew your strength. And he will owe your father like an eagle. Hallelujah. You won't faint when you run. Can I get what he said? Our God is a mighty God. Isn't he a mighty God? And I say he's worthy to be praised. I'm going to close up here and close in a few minutes. Amen. But I want to let y'all know what God is doing. I'm sweating up a storm. Y'all excuse me. But God, thank you for this sweat. Can I get what he's saying? Amen. As you know, listen to this right here. It says, listen to here. It says, brothers and sisters, example, patience. Listen to this here. And go down just a little ball. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Above all, my brothers and sisters, do not sweat. By heaven or earth or anything else, all you need to say is yes and no. Some people get and make promise to God knowing they can't keep it. God says, you're going to say yes to me or you're going to say no to me. You're not going to say that away for all brother. Either you're going to serve me or not serve me. God said, I don't want you to do one. Either yes to Jesus or no to Jesus. Yes, amen. 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 That's what he's saying. You pray. Either yeah. say yes or no. Yes. Yeah. Let your yes be yes. Let your no be no. Yeah. I told God I'm going to serve him every day of my life. I told God I'm going to serve him. If I get knocked down, I'm going to get back up. I'm going to serve you. I made a promise to God 33 years ago that I said I'd never leave. I told God, I said, if I get knocked down, dragged, or whatever, I'm still going to serve you. Amen. If I got to serve you by myself. Amen. See, when you get to that point, God can use you for your glory. Can I get what you're saying? Amen. Wait patience on the Lord, and he will renew your what? Strength. Amen. And, and, and Dr. Close, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. I know I'm holding up some time, but I got a lot in me. I've been out of church for quite a while. God had to do some healing. God had to do some whole lot of things in my life. Come here, bless me in. Hallelujah. God had to do a lot of things in my life to get me on the pulpit. Amen. He yeah. worked on me. I mean, he did an operation on me. Jesus. I mean, he turned me upside down and worked on my heart, my mind, my thoughts. God worked on everything. I mean, when he let me loose, I feel like a new person. Mind. Hallelujah. God is working on you too. If you just let him. And be patient. And wait on the Lord. Amen. Wait on the Lord. When you're waiting on the Lord, he'll do what? Renew you. Stand firm Amen. on his word. Say, so, Lord, you say in your word. The body will strike some healing. I'm going to stand on your word. Yeah. Lord, you told me if I hold my peace, you'll fight the back. I stay on your word. God, you said your weapon form against me will prosper every tongue that rises up against me. We condemn. God, I'm going to stand on your word. Amen. God, you said that, God. And God will fight the back. He said his angels the war angels to fight the power. Can I get a witness in Amen. I'm telling y'all something on the testimony. I'm telling you something. I'm living. God will fight the battle with his holy peace. And keep that mouth shut. 